Well, hey guys, Captain Cooker. So glad you could join me. Today we've got a review of something that a, uh, a company sent me. And so I told them I'd take a look at it and we'd review it and uh, tell them what I think about it. So what I was sent was, let me get this thing over here, is a kayak cooler. It's a cooler that, uh, you know, you're supposed to strap on the back of your seat so it'd be right behind you. And it came from Yak Hacker. Now, Yak Hacker contacted me back some time ago. They want me to review uh, some of their products. And this is the first one they sent me, which is a kayak cooler. Now, these are very cool, guys. Because not only can you use them for kayaks, you can take them out just a day on the beach, you know, just going out with some... Uh, ice down beverages if you want to call them that and uh, you can also put fish in them so that's a good thing about it so we're going to open this up take a look at it and tell you what I think about it we're going to show you what it looks like on my kayak and explain to you how I put it on there so here is the yak hacker kayak core let's take a look at it we're opening her up okay so what we have here, this is something you can put gear in. You can put your pliers in here. You can put your lip grips. You can put your fish scent. Whatever you want to put in there, you can put in here. And this will strap to this cooler. All right. Uh, here we have a, a, a shoulder strap. Uh, like I said, guys, you don't have to... You, gotta, you don't have to put this on your, you know, if you just want a small cooler to take out on the beach with some, some uh, water or, you know, sandwiches or whatever, uh, you can do it with this. Got a little shoulder strap. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Uh, and here we have our bungees. Let's see. So we got some bungees here. And this is what you strap the actual cooler to your kayak or... You actually strap this to the cooler. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this thing. Set that over out the way. Get this. Oh, excuse me. I'm messing my, my stage up. All right. So, here it is. Tell you right away, I love the color. Love the color. I love this yellow. And that black, just love that color. Just love it. So, it's been folded up. Let's see if we can get it unfolded a little bit and bring it out. Zip it up. Show you the, uh, give you the full Monty, as they would say. All right, so there we go. And there it is. Uh, like I said, guys, small cooler. This is not something you're going to go out on, and uh, you know, if, if, you know, if you're going to bring a hundred pounds of fish home, you need to take a bigger cooler, and you're probably not going to be in a kayak. Um, if you're doing that kind of fishing, you know, put your fish on a stringer. That's usually what I do. Keep them alive. That's the best way to keep them. Keep them alive to the very last minute, and they're going to be a lot fresher than you putting them on ice. But this is a very cool cooler. Uh, got a little, put stuff down in here. And something I like about this one is you got this little zipper pocket that you can put stuff down in. Maybe put your phone in there. Maybe put your phone in there. Um, up to you. Up to you. So, yeah, this is a very nice cooler. Very nice. Uh, Let's see if I can find some specs on it for you. Um, uh, let's see. So it is, now we're talking centimeters, so you're going to have to figure this one out for yourself. It is 43, right, by 30 by 17 centimeters. Now you're going to have to get your calculators out and do that one. But, very nice cooler. I do like it. Um, you know, you're going to carry your, you know, put you some water in here. You can put you a little bit of ice in here if you want to. But if you put nothing in there, 
and catch your fish and put them in here, they're going to be a lot better off than they are just laying on the deck of your kayak, right? So I like this thing. I like it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what it looks like now. Traditionally, you mount these on the back seat or the back of your seat on your kayak. Well, I'm in an uh, Old Town Sportsman 106 MK, and the seat kind of does that deal, you know? Comfortable, comfortable seat. And it, when you mount a cooler like this, it, it kind of, it's kind of janky. It's kind of, so what I have done is I've taken the cooler and I've mounted it a little further back, but I put it on the back of my Yak Attack Black Pack Pro. And it works out well because before I even had one of these, uh, my cooler set behind my, my Black my Black Pack Pro anyway. So now I strap this baby to my Black Pack Pro. And it's all one unit now. So when I pick my Black Pack Pro up, my Yak Attack, and when I pick it up and take it out, this is attached to it. And when I pick it up and put it back in my kayak, this is attached to it. So very nice. And it's very easy to, to take it off of it if I want to say I'm, uh, I want to go a, a, a day of fishing walking down the shore or, you know, land-based fishing. I can take this off, throw it on my shoulder, and uh, fish with it. So I do thank uh, Yak Hackers for sending me this. They got a few more items they're going to send me. Uh, which is very cool. I will definitely drop a link. I think they sell these on Amazon. I'll find them for you. Put a link out there for you. You can find them on Facebook. And just, uh, guys, very excited to get this uh, Yak Hackers cooler. Uh, just a beautiful thing. Just a beautiful thing. And a lovely little cooler. Just a lovely little cooler. Something you can throw over your shoulder and take out. All right, guys. I do thank Yak Hacker for sending this to me. I do thank you guys for joining me. You guys be sure to join me next time for something interesting, I hope. All right, guys, take care. Take care of each other. And we'll definitely catch you on the next one.